Yes. Um, just start off. Uh, what, what was your ritual today, getting ready for uh, the Baptist? Yes, it's a, I know it's a ritual, but um, you know, I think um, it's uh, it's important to make sure that uh, you haven't got any spinach in your teeth. <laughs> so uh, I brushed them, <laughs> and um, I uh, I put some uh, Moroccan oil, uh, Moroccan oil in my hair and uh, made sure that my toenails were cut. I think. Um, and if you've got the teeth, you've got the hair, you've got it all. That's what James Brown said. <laughs> uh, you've played many an iconic role, but twice now you've played Neville Lawrence. Has playing um, Mr. Lawrence affected you personally, even as an actor? Well, yeah, I think any father, any black father with an adolescent son is going to ask himself whether he should tell his son that the world is basically a dangerous place or the people are basically decent you know should you alarm them and keep them on constant alert hyper vigilance or should you say be sensible it's all right people are basically good I'm pretty sure I mean I've got a, a son who's the same age as Stephen was when he was murdered and I worry about him all the time so you know you've got to worry you've got to be sh sensible and not not make them paranoid but at the same time just make sure that they're aware of the fact that there are some really psychopathic, psychotic people out there. But basically, people are decent, I believe. I hope. <laughs> um, as a BAFTA OG, you have seen the evolution of types of shows and talents being nominated with a lot more representation than, e than ever. How does this make you feel of someone who's a champion of change and representation? Well... Listen, I, I, when I was a kid, the black and white minstrels were still on TV. And, you know, it stayed on TV until 1978. That's like 10 years after Woodstock, 10 years after the Rolling Stones free concert. You still had the black and white minstrels on TV. And it's taken decades for us to reach a point where all the nominees in my category are pretty diverse, you know. We've got a, a gay guy, we've got two black guys, you know, and there's cover the range of, of, of ages too. And none of us, I think, comes from, uh, we don't have origins in what you might call the mainstream. Isn't a single Dominic or a single Benedict. <laughs> none of us has been to Eaton or Harrow. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, in that sense, progress has been made, but there's still a lot more progress to come. It's quite significant of the um, Stephen Lawrence story that is told and is being recognised by the BAFTAs. The discussion is whether awards matter over the art at all, but how important is it when projects like Stephen get nominated and potentially win? Oh, uh, it is important. I mean, I think the fact is that as good as Stephen was, a lot of people haven't, still haven't watched it. I think it's a little bit like um, Ava DuVernay's series, When They See Us. You have to brace yourself to watch it because you know it's going to be upsetting, you know. So I think awards like this will just, might just prompt people to watch this because it's a great piece of work and a great piece of writing, great piece of direction from Ulrich Riley. And uh, I think the three of us, Charlene White, Steve Coogan and myself, we, um, we put in a shift to try and do justice to Doreen Neville and uh, Clive Driscoll. So uh, it's important because it might shift the focus from us onto them and onto the story. All right.